Once your register successful, you need to go to the website.ws/members to do a setting over here. Okay. So just simply put your username. Let's let me put my username. Okay. Okay. This is a GDI member area. So we need to do a setting uh, in GDI. Okay. So first of all, when you already log in into your member area, you need to go to preferred payment. This is a place where we allow, we give a permission to uh, GDI to deduct every month for us. Okay, if we not change over here, even we have provided all the data at the, during the registration just now, GDI unable to deduct from our card. So when you register, you you will see pay a swift over here. All right, if the statement pay a swift stated over here you need to change to if you plan to pay through PayPal you need to uh, click a PayPal if you need to uh, if you want to pay through credit card you need to press over here and then until this the sentence come out like here you you press uh, change to a credit card and then you update all right so the statement will come out they are saying that you already changed the preferred payment method so after that you need to click registered domain over here underneath the registered domain that is your domain you need to click over here and then uh, GDI will give you uh, several option either you want to use a site builder to create your website or you simply want to use a domain forwarding but if you want to create your own website you need to choose a basic hosting you click basic hosting and then don't forget to click continue okay don't forget to click continue if not you unable to transfer your website into your domain into your web hosting okay so ensure this one you have uh, choose basic hosting and then click continue this is how we do a setting in a GDI member area or maybe in some other web hosting they call it a cPanel but over here the cPanel had been uh, simplify and allocate in your member area so click continue and then now you're ready to create your own website. Thank you.